All right, nice to meet everyone. My name is Tony Colazzo. I'm the Director of Programmatic Strategy here at Distillery. So I've been here for going on 14 years now, so quite a while, almost since the beginning. Really earned my stripes in ad operations uh, back when I, when I had a full head of hair. Um, and I really have probably trafficked thousands of campaigns over the years and have really used that knowledge as I transitioned into the strategy and data side of the business. And I'm really uh, you know, excited to share some of the strategies that we've developed internally to help drive campaign success. And as in today, I spend a lot of my time really driving a, a lot of value for our clients targeting strategies. So let's get started. All right, so starting with the top strategy is whenever you're activating one of our pre-built or custom AI audiences, you really wanna make sure you're including all available precision levels. Secondly, and most important, is that you are taking advantage of activating both pre-built and custom AI audiences together to really maximize your performance and reach potential. Number three is applying a tiered bidding and optimization strategy against our audiences whenever they are activated. All right, moving on towards uh, campaign precision levels. All right, so as Mark mentioned, Distillery breaks out its pre-built and custom AI audiences into various precision levels. Now, we do this to really allow you to hone in and optimize and identify what's working for your campaign. Uh, if you look in the lower left-hand side of the screen, there's a great example of what one of our pre-built audiences looks like when broken out into precision levels. As you can see, there's three separate precision levels, each one of which has a different audience size. And those audience size, those uh, precision level names are extreme confidence, which consists of your highest ranked users, according to our model. Then you have your extended scale, which is really your larger segment that's utilized for scale and reach. And then you have our standard segment, which is really a balance between both performance and scale. Now, as mentioned previously, when you activate against these audiences, it's very important that you start out utilizing all precision levels. Now, the best way to go about doing that is you need to make sure you're breaking each one out into their own individual line items. And that's so that you can actually report out in the DSP what, what results each audience is driving, which ones need optimizing, and where should your budgets be allocated. Now, you can really take this up uh, to another level by identifying some custom audiences that are performing very strongly for your brand and link up with one of our client success managers where we can utilize the signals within those pre-built audiences to really build out a custom model to expand that on that already existing performance. Now, moving over to the right-hand side is an example of one of our custom AI solutions. Now, this is broken out into different levels as well. We call them confidence levels for custom AI. Uh, they are ranked A through E, with A ranking the highest in relevance, and that water falls down towards E, where the segment gets larger, but the, the relevance score gets lower. So it's really about finding that balance between performance and scale. Now, our custom AI audience product is based off of an advertiser's first-party data, as it's really no secret that First-party data really does drive the performance when integrated into any form of a model. So if you do have access to this data, it's definitely a great idea to, to get a model built out for it so you can take advantage of that performance. Now, when you're activating against these confidence levels, it's recommended that you do start out with confidence levels A through D to start and really reserve that very large E segment for extended performance and reach only if you need it. Just as the pre-built strategy, you also want to break these out into individual line items so you can really apply value to each and report out on performance and which one's working best for you. Now, with custom AI, you can get creative and test out various first-party seed sets. Don't just create one model. You can create multiple and do some tests, which one performs best. Usually what ends up happening is the combination of models that really drives the most value for our clients. All right, moving on. All right, so now that we've gone over some of the, uh, some of the benefits and best practices of our pre-built and one of our custom solutions, this leads us into that second strategy, which really combines the advantages of both of them together with the goal of driving immediate performance and reach across all formats. When you have the ability to cycle between pre-built and custom options, it really gives you the it really allows you to customize different audience combinations so that you can target all parts of the funnel. 
Now on the right hand side is a good example of this funnel approach utilizing both solutions. So at the top, I placed our pre-built audiences, which are tailored really well at driving down qualified reach, especially when you pair them with formats that are really tailored for awareness, such as CTV, video, and native. Now the overall goal here is to really drive that qualified reach down the funnel to feed custom tactics and custom built models that you can activate with this solution to really hone in and increase the momentum at which the, uh, that user goes down that funnel so they can get to that action faster. Now, one of the main advantages that you get anytime you activate a custom audience within this approach is it's basically really efficient at filling in the gaps that pre-built and any other off-the-shelf audiences don't have visibility into. Now, what I mean by that is Custom models are essentially carving out a group of audiences that your competitors don't know are valuable. So what does that mean? That means when you see that user in the open internet, you're able to win that impression for a lot less than it would cost if it was against another competitive off the shelf segment. Now, this is a huge blind spot that you can take advantage of, especially during times of high media consumption, holidays, seasonalities, Q4 pushes, when the price of inventory and the price of, of these segments skyrocket and you are scrambling looking for a solution to really stay price efficient while still allowing you to effectively deliver high impressions volumes. Now why that's key is because if you can save on your average bid when bidding for these high value audiences during times of high competition, you can serve more impressions for the same amount of budget at lower CPA so you can maintain high levels of conversion volumes. And that's key when marketers are looking for high conversion volumes, not just high conversion rates during these holiday seasons. All right, moving on. Now what I said, I didn't just completely make up, it actually does work. Uh, this is a quick example of one of our clients that did decide to activate against uh, both solutions, a pre-built and custom AI. Uh, this was a computer technology company and they wanted to drive sales among small business owners and they were open to utilizing their own first party data to power a custom AI model. And that was combined with one with the pre-built solution, which our client success managers really helped identify what segments make the most sense for them. And the combination of both of those really helped smash through their ROAS benchmark of 650 uh, by 124%. So this does work. Moving on. All right. So last but not least, we have tiered bidding and optimization. So this strategy is key to the success of the previous strategies that I mentioned. Reason being is that the whole purpose of this strategy is to discover the true value of each impression within these line items. And the way we do that is we apply different values to each one of these audiences. That's the whole purpose why we recommend we break out audiences by line item. It's the whole reason why we break them out by precision level. So if you look on the right hand side, I created an example of what an ideal campaign looks like when running both custom AI and pre-built together you see that we have a custom AI model with A through D and pre-built segments uh, with all three precision levels included. Now, when I talk about bid tiering to apply value, what I'm speaking about is applying a higher bid to higher ranked segments. So if you look at the confidence A line item, that has the highest bid out of the levels. It also has the tightest frequency. We wanna make sure we have a higher win rate and a tighter frequency against high performing segments. Now that water falls down as the segments get larger. Why? Because we can afford to lose on win rate as the segment gets larger without risking performance or scale. As you can see, the frequency also widens as well. So it's really about how can we help you really strike a balance between driving scale and maintaining performance. Every one of these segments, even though they are different size, all have value as long as you pay the right price. And that's really key to this overall strategy. Now, because we break these out in such a granular fashion, it really melds well for any form of a DSP's automatic optimization engine. So we definitely recommend that that optimization engine is activated on all campaigns running distillery audiences so that it can really monitor real-time results of the performance of these lines and allocate budget, optimize when necessary, and drive the most value for your campaign. Now, there are instances when you have a particular distillery tactic, you may be running with multiple partners, and it's not serving as much as you want, and it may be getting held back because some form of budget allocator is holding it back. 
Some DSPs offer you the ability to manually change some form of a priority value that you can prioritize a line item or set of line items over another for a given period of time. And this is really so you can really uh, provide that line item a chance to serve enough impressions to get a good sample size of what is this line's true performance when, when scaled out further. Now, last but not least is try not to bundle multiple audiences into one line item when possible. Reason being is that when you bundle, for example, a custom AI A, B, C, D in one line item, what ends up happening is that the largest segment of the bunch usually ends up cannibalizing a lot of that delivery for the day and any performance that confidence level A and B are providing will be completely washed out by that confidence level D's uh, impression volume. We want to really break out and apply value to each independently, and we don't want a $2 bid being applied to a confidence D audience, right? So break them out when possible. Now, if you have to bundle them for whatever reason, what I recommend as a middle ground approach is that you bundle your high ranking segments together and you bundle the low ranking segments together. So at least you have some form of leverage and control over applying some form of value and optimization towards each.